Hey guys, a standalone fighter here with another video. This time I'll be doing a review on Razer's new product called Razer Game Booster. For those of you who don't know, Razer Game Booster is a free to download software that will increase the performance for gaming and will also record just like Fraps. So you can get all gameplay footage. This means that you can record all your gameplays with just a tap of a button. When launching Razer Game Booster, you will notice that all the icons for all your games is conveniently located in just one place, and you will notice just below that there is a launch button. So let's take a look to see what exactly happens when you press the launch button. Here you can see a series of options such as clearing your RAM, power solutions and turning off Windows automatic updates. Now I felt it was most important to mention these three options in particular because cleaning your RAM will optimise your RAM, making more RAM available for your game to play on, so that will automatically increase your performance. The enable game power solution will actually, uh, with some laptops, you have a power saving mode and what that mode does is it actually limits the performance of your laptop so the battery life will last longer. What this will do is it will put your laptop straight away into high performance mode and in some cases even PCs into high performance mode so none of your games will ever slow down in that department and turning off Windows Update is probably the most important thing to me because the amount of times I've seen the Windows Update thing pop up, it's minimized my game and then I've died because of it. So these are some really good features to see here by Razer Game Booster. You'll notice that there's certain parts of Razer Game Booster that I'm not covering in the launcher such as processes, system services and non-Windows services. The reason why I'm not actually going into that topic is because if you fiddle about with that that could actually cause your PC harm so it's always best just to leave those at the default settings and don't worry when it does turn off processes and system services when your game ends Razer Game Booster will automatically restore those to its previous state so it's not gonna cause your PC any harm I would only recommend fiddling about with those if you really know what you're doing the next feature of Razer Game Booster that I'll be covering is the diagnostics tool the diagnostics tool will tell you everything you need to know about your PC. It will tell you what operating system you're running, it will tell you what your hardware is, it's going to tell you how much RAM you got, how fast it is, how much RAM is free, it's going to tell you about your network interface card, it's going to tell you about your hard drive space, how many hard drives you got, are there any partitions on your hard drive, it's going to tell you about the services on your computer and it's going to tell you right at the end what Windows actually scores your individual parts inside your computer. Next up I'll be looking at the tools available in Razer Game Booster to also increase your gaming performance. The first tool that we can see here is called Tweaks. Now all Tweaks does is exactly what it says. It will do slight tweaks to your system to increase performance just by clicking the optimize button but um, if you find this actually causes your computer problems you can also restore the tweaks that have been done to restoring your computer to its original state. The next tool is called defrag. Now all defragmentation does is it will organize files in your computer in such a way that it's actually easier for your hard drive to read those files. So for example if I was to defrag League of Legends what the software would actually do is it will take all the files that are in that game folder and put them in a logical order on your hard drive to increase gaming performance. The last tool is called drivers. Drivers are pieces of software that allow hardware inside your computer to communicate with each other. So for example a graphics card driver will allow your graphics card to communicate with the rest of your PC such as CPU and RAM. Essentially what this means is the tool called drivers will look for the newest drivers for your PC thus increasing performance. And now finally I'll be covering the biggest feature of this software, Screencast, which essentially allows you to record your screen so you can record all your gameplay footage. When recording videos the software gives you an option of the video quality, highest, high, medium and low. And it also gives you the option to set the resolution, so you can set the resolution native to the game or custom resolution. There's also a key shortcut to uh, recording game. The software allows you to record sound from any source from which you choose. There's also a key shortcut showing the frames per second in game and you can also choose which corner of the screen you'd like the frames per second to be displayed. The software also has a screenshot option which will take a screenshot of your game in a file format of your choice with a key shortcut. 
Now that I've covered all the features of Razer Game Booster, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to record some game footage using Razer Game Booster and also doing a side by side comparison with Fraps. So as you can see, with Fraps and Razer Game Booster, they both record very well at 1080p. With Razer Game Booster, the quality is slightly lower, but that's for a good reason. With a 30 second piece of footage from Fraps, it's about 2.5 gigs. With as opposed to Razer Game Booster, it's only about 10 to 20 megabytes. So it's really going to save you a lot of hard drive space, especially if you do a lot of recording. The second thing is, with Fraps, I've noticed that so you can actually record multiple sources of audio. So you can record the audio that's coming from your desktop and audio coming from a microphone. Whereas within Razer Game Booster, you can only record from one audio source and only one audio source. Okay, well thank you for watching my review of Razer Game Booster. Special thanks to Razer for giving me early access to the software and letting me uh, use the closed beta version of this software. Um, sorry I haven't been releasing videos lately, I've just had a lot of stuff to do, plus I was also kind of a bit lazy. Hopefully I should be starting up gamers updates soon, and if you like this video don't forget to like it, subscribe to it, favourite it if you really liked it. And yeah, I was actually supposed to release this video about a couple of months ago, but again, um, a lot of things have come in the way, but uh, hopefully there should be more videos soon. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.